Now, we are thrilled to welcome Pro Bowl tight end of the Arizona Cardinals, Mr. Zach Ertz here on Radio Row. Zach, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. It's uh, it's February in Arizona, so it's pretty good. <laughs> a little bit different than Philly. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Zach, you're here on behalf of Sleep Number, and I can't think of a better product for a new dad than Sleep Number beds. <laughs> Exactly. How's it going, my man? Uh, being a dad is amazing. Obviously, um, Sleep Number is a brand that we love to work with because they prioritize what's most important to us as not only as new parents but as athletes. Uh, my wife and I are, are each able to have our own kind of setting. Mine is extremely firm. Uh, right. I think I'm like the highest that anyone's ever heard, like yeah. level 100 essentially. Cement. Yeah. yeah, pretty much <laughs> this right here. Um, and then my wife's able to have something a lot more comfortable. Um, but as an athlete, especially going into my 11th year now, sleep is the most important tool for, re for recovery. Um, and so as a family, we definitely prioritize that. The little one has definitely thrown a little wrench in it at times, <laughs> but he's doing great as well. Most importantly, how's your recovery coming along? Yeah, it's, it's actually going really, really well. I'm about two and a half months post-op, um, so every day getting better. Able to, the first two months are tough. Yeah. Monotonous, tedious. Um, the toughest two months I would say I'd ha I've had as an NFL player, just because wow. I've never had a, I've never had this injury, uh, and it's just it was extremely difficult. Um, I'm gonna be honest, but now I'm past that point. Yep. Um, I'm able to actually feel like an athlete again, going to the weight room, knowing I'm gonna be able to push myself and get better every day. And so that to me at this point is I'm able to look back and kind of reflect, but I'm so excited about the future as well. For sure. Who are you leaning on? Who were you leaning on during those two months to, and as far as your rehab continues forward? Yeah, obviously my faith is something that's played a huge part in me, not only this year, but in the past. Um, and just understanding that God's already seen the outcome of this. He knows it's going to be all, all for good. Um, and so that's obviously played a huge part. My wife, as an athlete, she's dealt with not, She hasn't had this injury, um, but just she's gone through injuries. She had a torn MCL eight weeks uh, before the last Olympics, and she was out there dominating already. So um, I've got a lot of amazing people in my corner. Yeah. Um, I got the best therapist around and Brett Fisher doing my rehab. Um, so I'm extremely confident about it. So, Zach, you signed a contract extension with the Cardinals last offseason. You're one of the few kind of known commodities now. We don't have a head coach. The Cardinals mm -hmm. don't, right? We're not sure about the status of some key free agents. Like, how are you processing this offseason of uncertainty with so much stuff going around you, in particular this head coaching search? Well, I think, obviously, having something to work on every day with my knee right now is yeah. able to kind of give me kind of soul tunnel vision um, on being the best version of myself come September. Um, but like you said, there is a lot of uncertainty, and everyone wants a head coach. But I just remind people that in 2016, when I was with the Eagles, Doug Peterson was the last head coach to be mm. signed that year. And Ben McAdoo was actually their number one choice in Philly. And then Doug was the guy that they ended wow. up getting. Um, so it's not about the urgency of how fast can you get this thing done. This is such a big decision. You might as well exhaust all options in this thing um, and get the right guy. Because the right guy for us is going to be different than the right guy for the Broncos mm -hmm. or for the Colts. Um, and so as long as Michael and Monty and everyone over there are exhausting all options, I'm all, of, all for taking as long as you need yeah. to get it right. Mr. B told us during the press conference uh, on Black Monday, obviously bittersweet. Uh, I saw you, you tweeted out, obviously, thanks yeah. to Cliff Kingsbury, who we found out is back stateside, you know, there after you his go. Thailand <laughs> trip. Uh, but he, he said that he was going to tap into Kyler Murray, get his thoughts on the head coach. Have you been asked as far as your thoughts on it? Um, I mean, I haven't gone out been asked hey what do you think of x candidate sure. or y candidate um i think being in the league for a long time being, being around a lot of different head coaches i have a unique perspective of kind of what would work what maybe doesn't work especially this era of athletes i think is a little different than when i first came into the league um and obviously the quarterback is as talented as they come and you got to get a guy that's able to work with him and get the best out of him um and i'm confident that kyler is eager to show everyone who he is yeah um obviously there's so much being spoken about him every day it seems like something else is coming out but i just remind people this dude is the most talented quarterback football player i've really ever been around yeah like there's nothing on a football field he can't do and so we can point to some of the things he needs to work on, but let's not forget about everything that he can do as a football player. Um, and it's my job as a tight end to get open for him and do all this stuff. But I know when I'm able to get open, he's going to give me the ball. Yeah, and I think he's speaking our language, by the it's, way. It's fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely. We knew it was going to happen, though, with Zachary. <laughs> so what I want to focus on is he's being used kind of like a deterrent unfairly this offseason. 
you were a free agent last offseason. You could have spent a year with Kyler or a half year with Kyler the prior season and said, no, 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 no thanks. You opted to commit to the Cardinals and, more importantly, yeah. Kyler Murray. Like, you wanted that relationship to continue. What made it an easy decision for you? Well, obviously, I loved being in the building every day. That's, I love coming to work for the Cardinals. Obviously, Cliff being resigned at the time was a big factor. Obviously, it was irrelevant, kind yeah. of, looking yeah, sure. back on it. Um, but I was grateful that they took a chance on me midseason. Everyone knew in Philly the time was coming to an end. I was trying to get out of there earlier. Um, and Arizona was the team that came and got me. A lot yeah. of other teams talked about it, yeah. but Arizona was a team that went out and did it. And so for me, that carried a lot of weight, that they believed in me when a lot of teams said, yeah, yeah, we believe in you, blah, 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 blah. But they're the team that actually came out and did it. Mm -hmm. um, so that meant a lot to me. And then also, I played with so many quarterbacks in my career. And so I knew Kyler was going to be here for a long time. I expect him to be here for a long time. And the chemistry we had, I feel like I get open, and I feel like he throws to the open guy. Yeah. So for us, it was pretty natural right away. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Obviously, he has the ACL injury he's coming back uh, from a little bit different time frame, a couple months after you. But do you guys compare notes? Is it you? They discovered that yours was partly torn. What was it? The, uh, the, the, ACL, the ACL was partially torn, and the MCL was torn. But they didn't feel confident that the ACL would hold yeah, doing yeah. what I need to do. So I actually had full ACL, MCL recovery. Um, we had surgeries, I think, six weeks apart maybe. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm definitely – we've been in each other's ear, keeping each other going. We FaceTime every now and then. Nice. He's a big FaceTime guy for those that didn't know. Okay. Um, See, that would probably surprise people. Yeah, people think we probably a text message guy, yeah, right? No, FaceTime guy. Um, well, let me, let me ask you this real quick. I mean, if, if Max Williams pops up on FaceTime and Kyler pops up on FaceTime, are you, whose call are you taking? Because I heard Max Williams has some epic late-night FaceTiming, according to Trey McBride. Can Max Williams throw me the football? <laughs> That's a good point. That's a let great point. That. <laughs> no, not from what no. I've seen. I saw him at training camp throw it around a little bit, but no. So let's talk about Trey McBride. So what did you see from Trey over the course of the final, you know, six to eight games of the regular season? Yeah, obviously he was extremely raw when he came yeah. to the Cardinals. Um, coming from Colorado State, there was so much he had to work on there. Pretty much a run-first offense um, in college and just the intricacies of route running, understanding defenses. He had a long way to go, and he was eager to learn. Yeah. I give him a lot of credit. He was eager to learn. He wanted to learn. Um, there are some things that he wasn't able to do early on that he was able to find ways to be successful at the end of the year. Yeah. Um, and I think as we're complementary players, um, he's able to play. If, if, if we were both in the game together like you saw last year, he's going to be the guy on the line of scrimmage. I'm going to be the guy split out. Yeah. Um, and that he's able to – it's not like I'm like saying, hey, bro, you need to do X, Y, and Z right. every day. Um, but I'm able to just show him every day how to approach certain things. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the best, Brent Selleck, when I was a young player, he was that. He wasn't saying, mm -hmm. Zach, step with your left foot here, step with your right foot there. He wasn't carrying me into the building. He wasn't showing me each and every step in minute detail. But the way he carried himself every day was what I was able to take from him. And that, that, that has carried me to this point. And I hope I'm able to do the same for Trey. We, we were fortunate enough to talk to JJ a lot in the final weeks uh, before he hung him up. And he had mentioned how much he loved becoming that mentor, being, you know, obviously having eager guys to learn and, and take that information. How do you feel about kind of being that guy at this point in your career? Yeah, JJ and I have very similar mentalities when it comes to that. If you're a guy that wants to work yeah. and you are willing to kind of be, humble yourself enough to like, hey, how can I be better here? Yeah. If you're able to do that and you and we know as guys quit giving advice that you're going to actually try and implement it, mm -hmm. we're open books. Like, I will be an open book for which whoever is eager to learn and willing to work. Because it's one thing to be eager to learn, and then, you, like, okay, hey, I'm training at 7 a.m. the next day, and then the following day, 7 a.m. They show up for the first day, they don't show up the second yeah. day. Mm -hmm. To me, it's like... That's Johnny. <laughs> That's right. How, just, to me, at that point, it's how committed are you, like... Are you? Should I actually invest my time and energy when I yeah. got so much else going on? But if guys are willing to work and eager to learn, I'm all about giving them anything they need. How much are you enjoying this run by, by Philadelphia? So many of your uh, brothers on the field that you got to play with in Philadelphia. Hassan Reddick, once upon a time, Arizona Cardinal having a breakout season yeah. with the Eagles. What do you expect to see on Sunday? Yeah, I mean, obviously I'm extremely excited um, to watch my guys play. Yeah. I mean, I spent a lot of time there. Um, and so I played eight and a half, nine years with pretty much the same core guys that we won the Super Bowl with that are still there. Jason Kelsey, Lane Johnson, Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, yeah. Isaac Sayamalu. Um, and so these are guys that are lifelong friendships. And so I want to see those guys go out 
be successful. I don't know how many more years Fletch, Kels, BG have. Yeah. I know Lane's going to play until the wheels fall off, so I'm not worried about his last game. Um, but I'm excited to see those guys play. Yeah. Are you, ready, are you ready to make maybe a bold uh, commitment maybe to Cardinals fans? Because, my God, it's been a long time. 1989, right? Last 100-yard receiver at the tight end position. Yeah, for the it's Arizona been at least have you heard 20 plus years. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Are you gonna Are you gonna end that? Are you or Trey gonna end that? I can promise <laughs> one of us will. I, I'm gonna do everything I can to make it sure. I mean, I tied the record in catches yeah. by Arizona yeah. Cardinals tight end in like 10 games yeah. two years ago. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I don't know who the coach is. I don't know how they want to use me. Um, but I'm focused on getting healthy every day and being the best version of myself. And I'm not going to go on the field until I know I can be a success for the team and have an impact on the games. Um, but, yeah, the 100-yard game is not something that's too far-fetched to me. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. It feels like a good plan is when Zach Ertz plays, you get him the football, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, that when before his injury, unfortunately, they were Kyler and, and yeah, crew were doing it. Tell us about Sleep Number and the fabulous things they're doing. Yeah, so obviously, um, like I spoke about, uh, the, the recovery aspect, yeah. they prioritize that for us. And just the, the, not only are they a great company in terms of the beds, we love the beds, we have them all throughout our house, but they're also a company that's kind of purpose-driven as well. Um, they, do, they do a lot of stuff kind of off the field, per se, um, with, I would say with some of the different charities that they work with. And so with us, having the Earth's Family Foundation, um, we love to align ourselves with kind of mission driven companies and they're definitely one of them zach you make us proud as being one of the many ambassadors to our city here in phoenix for the super bowl man enjoy the rest of the week and can't wait to see you back out on the playing field yeah thanks guys thanks, thanks for having man. me